man. I've been just pleased as all hell with this FZ1, man. It's a 2006 Yamaha FZ1. And I'm telling you, this bike, yeah. I, I mean, it does everything and does it well. Okay, it doesn't, okay, not everything. It doesn't do, outside of dirt and off-roading, obviously. Uh, as far as a sport bike, sport touring bike, I, I mean, it does it all. It, it, it'll come out here and freaking, you can, I could drag me if I wanted to with this bike. I, you're just wearing jeans, so I'm not gonna do that. But uh, yeah, I could. I drag knee. I feel like I could do. Oh man, it does wheelies. It freaking hauls ass. It, and it's comfortable. I I rode it for 1,500 miles for 35 hours straight, practically, other than gas and food stops. And you know, I'm, I'm feeling okay. I, I wasn't that sore. And I rode it another thousand something miles since then. Uh, so great bike, everyone. Uh, Yamaha FZ1. I mean, uh, just a little bit quicker than a 600. Uh, if you put a power commander, you know, power commander and drop a tooth in the front sprocket, you'll be pretty close to most 1000s. Just to be a little bit slower, but you'll be you'll beat 600 say at a drag strip or something and uh man i'm telling you what this bike will get out here and take these curves like a champ and it'll go on the interstate for 1500 miles like a champ and uh look great doing it uh the only thing the only thing i don't like about these bikes i love everything about it except the suspension i and other people have talked about those too on forums uh, it just the suspension is just not what it could be. Uh, there's just It's just there's not a whole lot of technology. It's the old style forks. I mean there are the upside down forks, but they're still the way they're built Is I don't know it's just you, you know it if you take it apart Like how these forks come apart how the how you take the seal liner thing would be the same way that a 90s model bike would forks would come apart. Forks off a 90s model bike would come apart. Um, so I don't like that, well, but with new fluid and new seals, I have uh, Bell Ray high performance fork oil, five weight, and uh, all balls, fork seals, and dust seals. Uh, the front suspension improved drastically just with that. Uh, the rear is still just, I'm not impressed. I just, I can't, it's hard to describe when you're going around corners, it just doesn't act right. Uh, now that, now I will say that I don't have the, I have adjusted it to be a little better, but I haven't actually gone and calculated the static sag and made those kind of adjustments. So, I can't really say that for sure, but uh, I had a suspicion, and just the way it looked, that it wasn't that great, and so I looked it up on forums and and that does seem to be the case, according to other people who have uh, much more experience with the bike than I do. So that's the only thing, guys. Other than that, I mean, this it's a great bike. It's been, it's just, it's just gone and gone and gone and takes corner after corner after corner with no problem. So I uh, definitely recommend the bike. Definitely recommend the Pacific Coast Highway. Peace out.